Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at this, a rotating thing called a Lazy Susan that will help you with building 3D printers by spinning them around lots and lots. When building a 3D printer, you quite often have to rotate it and spin it around in all sorts of directions to help you get to all the different places to build all the different parts. So to help me out with my live streams, doing that and getting all those camera angles sort of appropriate, I created a Lazy Susan, which is basically a spinning platform which helps me rotate the printer around. Now, if you're building smaller printers, you might not find that this is particularly useful, but the bigger they get, the harder they are to move, especially once you start getting stuff that's looking quite complete and it starts to weigh maybe 10 or 15 kilos. You don't want to be spinning it over and lifting it around. You just want to plonk it down and then you can spin it to the different sides that you need. So that's why I've got a Lazy Susan. So let me show you how to build it. To build it, you need basically three, maybe four things. So the platform, which I've just got a piece of wood, uh, a bearing, which is like the actual like Lazy Susan rotating bit, some screws to attach the two together. And I've also created some 3D printed spaces just so the screws don't go all the way through the surface and it spaces off from the desk a little bit. So for the wooden surface, I've got a piece of 12 millimeter plywood. You obviously need something that's gonna be able to take the load of the printer. So maybe like three mil acrylic or something is probably, you know, a little bit thin and flexible. So wood's generally a pretty good option. The piece of wood that I chose is 700, 700 millimeter diameter. And that just gives me about enough for a diagonal of larger printers like the rat rig and boron here. It doesn't have to be circular. The advantage of having it circular is that as you spin it around, it doesn't stick out into the desk different amounts, so it doesn't knock things off the side. The disadvantage is that it's more obvious if it's not central, because you start to have this kind of weird... For the screws, you obviously just want something that's suitable for the material you're screwing into, and an appropriate length for the bearing and wood that you've got. For the Lazy Susan bearing itself, I bought this kind of, I think it's 500 mil one off Amazon. It seems to work pretty well. It's not the smoothest bearing in the world and it doesn't take a huge amount of load, but it is going to be suitable for 3D printers. So nothing super luxurious, nothing super expensive, but they're also not exactly cheap. So that's going to be it for me today. Hopefully that was useful if you're building printers and want an easier way to spin them around and rotate them as you're building. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.